All right, everybody. Oh, there's that one. <laughs> everybody, catch up versus Valadin. The match we've all been looking for because uh, we had a pre-game on Twitter, on Ketchup, I mean, on Nito's Twitter. He tagged both of these guys because uh, Ketchup called out Vlad and saying he was going to beat him. Oh, really? Yeah. Was this on Twitter? Or? It's on Twitter, dude. Oh, it's on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotta so find is, this, is this the main reason why Ketchup and Nito came to hat? No. <laughs> no? They just wanted to come just to come? Yeah, just to come. It's a, it's a pretty good venue. Oh, man, he's getting rocked right now, though. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the seat. Man, imagine like commentating having to sit on the floor. Yeah, I don't mind it. I do it all the time. Same. <laughs> <laughs> but um, back to the match at hand. Mm -hmm. Right now we got Bowser Jr. versus Lucina. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of Bowser Jr. trying to find a whiff punish on Lucina, I, whether it be spacing with her nair, her fair. So the way how Ketchup has to play is you have to find like these money clown card hits right. and then focus on juggling her. It's kind of that, but I feel like... What he really wants to find is that up air. Once he finds that first up air, because here he knows Vlad is going to be above him, like All ninety percent of the match, right? That up air is going to be the saving grace in that matchup. Yeah, and he gets so much damage off of it. Yeah, and actually, Bowser Jr.'s fair is long enough to kind of contest it, like to contest Lucina's. It oh, is it very really? disjointed. It's the issue is that Lucina's is longer. Faster. And it's faster, so like it's going to be an issue. But like if they're doing the air to air, they will trade. Okay. Yeah. I also feel like it's going to be a little tricky trying to edge guard catch up because he is really, really good at mixing up his recovery, but Vladin is also really, really good at catching on to uh, recovery patterns and edge guarding off of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see how this will go. Yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a kind of difficult for Vladin to like deal with like catch up having three jumps essentially. Yeah, maybe Ooh. four if he's that high. Yeah, like because he could just do the cart. Yeah, spin like that. Out. You see? Yeah, we punish on catching him trying to space his nair. Yeah. But he still has a lot. He has got a lot of damage. And the thing is, Vladin won't let Ketchup set up at all. Yeah, he will not. He will suffocate you and have you play his game and his game only. And once you're in that, once you're in the corner, that's like where Vladin feeds. Like, he'll hit you over and over again off stage, And then you have to recover. And then he's you're stuck on that ledge forever. Yeah. Yeah, it's super, super rough. Oh, but the man. way how I negative see, on hit. Yeah, the way how I see Vladin getting the majority of the stuff is he's gonna have to chip away at Bao Zhao. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have to chip away at him and then get a good hit off of a ledge trap, mm -hmm. which is what he's been doing for the most part right now. That and also maybe juggling him, but juggling him isn't that reliable because Bowser Jr. does have, as you said, those three jumps mm -hmm. with the clown cart and then an extra jump off of that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the saving grace would be up there. Ooh, missing out on that fair and uh, man. That's another issue that uh, Bowser Jr. is going to have to deal with. That up B is so ridiculous out of shield. Yeah, frame 5, invincibility on frame 1, I think. Frame 1 through 4. <laughs> 1 through 4, yeah. yeah. It's it's a really, really good up B out of shield. It kills at reasonable percents, I'd say. Like, like 130. 140. Yeah, 130, 140, yeah. give or take. This is a really good move, and especially, and like, Vladin uses everything, like all the tools Lucina has, like, Nearly like per very well. Yeah. Not not perfect, because like he does have like he does have a few issues. Oh man, he couldn't contest that, and he died for that. Actually, getting a little greedy and missing out on the tech, trying to contest that clown card. Yeah, he probably wanted to hit him with fair off stage to just seal out the game. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't blame him because if he got that hit, he would have won, and we would have been into game two. Mm -hmm. But right now, Vladin doesn't really have to approach. He can just take his time, space away, wait for Ketchup to approach, and then hit him with something hard. Yeah. But this is an, another issue, is that he is like about 30% from like getting janked out. <laughs> if, about 30? Oh, with uh, Uppy? Yeah, he could. If like Vladin gets greedy like this <laughs> and gets hit by that up, uh, the Ejecto Cito. Yeah, the Ejecto Cito, and then gets hit by the. When he whacks it, mm -hmm. you will die. You will die off stage at this percent, especially with the max rage. I've oh, seen yeah. it. <laughs> that move does not. Is, that move is just scary in general. Mm -hmm. Right now, Vladin just kind of not really been being able to find the kill right now. He's Ooh, that was getting his hits when he can, yeah, but he's not really he's not really finding something. Ke Ketchup's like, you know, doing a really good job playing against his win condition, which is just a straight hit or a straight aerial, mm -hmm. and just making sure that it's good. he's going to make Vladin's life as hard as possible to get an edge Ooh, and or nice. And, and I think that was an unteckable at that percent. I Maybe. He was out of the cart, so he takes more knockback. No, he takes more percent, so more it percent more likely would have been uh, unteckable. Yeah, more percent means more knockback. That bear, yeah, yeah, he probably couldn't tech it. Yeah, he was like at 172. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, it, it, it's hard. It would be hard to, even then. <laughs> yeah. Really, really hard. And especially, like, that... I, what was it, a bear or an air? Like, no, he hit him with the reverse up beat. With the reverse up beat? Even then. That's that's even harder to check because, like, how fast it is. Like, you know, you, you can't really... Unless you're, like, these these teenagers out here that are, like, super fast in, like, reflexes, that's going to be hard. But catch us with an old man of 23. <laughs> it's going to... It's gonna be a little harder for him. <laughs> I did not know 23 was old. 23 is old in, in the video game world. Oh, ah, okay, okay. <laughs> but anyways, back to the match at hand. <laughs> right now, Vladis is kind of holding center stage, not really letting Ketchup play his game with the clown cart and his juggles. And uh, oh, as I say that, he gets center stage again. Yeah. yeah. But now Ketchup has a new clean slate. He's got, he's got like he probably didn't know what was happening, but now he's plays slowing himself down, figuring out what he needs to do against uh, Vlad and Vlad and Ooh. rolling twice. <laughs> And not really converting it off of a punish, surprisingly. It looked yeah. like he had the right idea. Yeah. Knowing when he was going to roll, especially mm -hmm. twice. But I, but I guess he just probably did it just to, like, you know, establish some dominance yeah. in the match. And to, like, get into Vladin's head a little. But in doing so, he's still kind of at a deficit. Right now, Vladin's just doing a really good job keeping him away, pushing him away whenever he can. Right now, he just has to call him out on the upbeat. Oh, nah. He wasn't it, able to convert it. Yeah, he was, uh, catch up recovered really low. Yeah, way, way too low for, for Lucina to recover back comfortably. Mm -hmm. F smash? Oh, no F smash. I feel like at that per or at that scenario in general, even if you were to tech away or tech mm -hmm. in place, the F smash would have covered both of those options because his con card is really huge. The only thing you would have to worry about is roll in, but at that percent, it's like rolling in is like something you would expect. Yeah. Oh, no, he SD'd. That is not what he wanted at all. <laughs> Especially like how dominating of a position that Vladin was in. Ooh. Yeah, especially. Up B out of shield. Almost killing from across the stage. Right now Vladin just needs one good ledge trap, one good hit. That four tilt. Oh, good pivot cancel F tilt, but not enough. Not gonna kill. That's one of those moves that you think would kill Lucina, but it actually doesn't. Yeah. Weirdly enough. Man, you know, up throw into triple up air is so much damage. Yeah. Oh no, he hit himself. That's, he actually, the, that's the one flaw with Lucina is that she gets juggled really, really hard because she doesn't, she doesn't have that many good landing options. Nah. She does have some with her down air, but the issue is that it's super laggy if you were to shield it. You can punish it out of shield. Mm -hmm. But for Bowser Jr., I'm not entirely sure how he's able to do it. Back air from across the stage. All okay. right. That, that, that's, a, that's a way to do it. Catching the Mecha Koopa, but it exploding in your hand is going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of damage. Yeah, right now, Ketchup's doing right. Ketchup's playing the matchup right. He's just waiting for Vladin to commit to something and then finding a whiff punish off of it. It's yeah. just a little hard because Lucina's aerials are long as joining it and a little bit lagless. But if Ketchup, like, you know, dash chances in the right way and gets a good side B in, he could probably, like, you know, set that up for an edge guard yeah. with, uh, the, with the Tokyo Drift. Yeah. And, like, right now, like, Ketchup's trying to find his way in, trying to outfare him, but... Realizing he loses the frame data battle. Yeah, it's especially the range battle too. Yeah. Oh man, hit him with the cannonball and he died at like 90. Yeah, but even if the Latin were to air dodge that, I don't know if you noticed, but he ended yeah. up shooting his clown card at the bottom, so that would have covered both options. But Surprisingly, that cannonball is really, really good for forcing people to go low, so that way Ketchup can go ahead and set it up for a clown card explosion mm -hmm. at, down towards the blast zone. And it's gonna, it's also really weird because Lucina's recovery is not as good as you would expect. It's not. This is just the only thing is that that uppy, it, it's that that uppy makes it really, really hard because she goes so fast. Like, but if you have the tools like Bowser Jr., where you can like you know force her into uncomfortable situations, that uppy isn't as scary as you would think. Yeah. Like, if you're able to catch that second jump, Lucina's recovery is atrocious. Yeah. All you need to do is just, like, even, like, trade or, like, nick her, and she's mm. basically dead. Oh, nice forward tilt. Not going to kill. Bowser Jr. is heavy as all hell. And I like that um, oh, cannonball. Oh, that was a great barrier, though. Yeah, that was also a really good barrier. Yeah, he shot that cannonball just so he could prevent Valadin from trying to edge guard him low. Mm. But Valadin being patient, waiting for it, and then hitting him with a back air, setting up for an untackable, and he got the stock for it. Mm. Actually, catch up nearly getting him with a... Uh, kill confirm off that. Oh, got him. Oh, that was a good tech. Oh, oh but no. not enough. He died. He died at like 30. Yeah. Lost his jump. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that the moment. <laughs> Side bet. Uh, um, Baladin's 2 0 right now. Oh, my God. I'm going to win. Oh, my God. I'm going to win. Betting against your friend? I mean, you can't doubt Baladin's good. He's tough to lose. He's yeah. really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, but Nito doesn't believe in his boy. Also, yeah, I don't believe in Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Alrighty then. Ah. <laughs> uh. Alright, so, game three. Mm hmm.
knowing, oh, okay, running it back. Knowing Vladin, he, he was probably most likely going to ban Battlefield and maybe Town. Maybe Town just so that way, like, you know, Ketchup doesn't get that much off of the juggles. But then again, mm. on Smashville 2, he can get a lot of juggles because of the center platform. Yeah. It, but Or either that I or maybe it's a comfort pick. I've always believed that, like, the sorties just love Battlefield. Yeah. yeah, all the sorties love Battlefield mm -hmm. because it's free juggling for days. The platforms help you land, which is something that traditionally almost every sword character has an issue with, is just mm -hmm. landing. So Battlefield is like a saving grace for them. Mm -hmm. The next best thing would probably be Smashville. Yeah. Or if not that, the t town. Yeah, like it, it, like those would make sense. But like Smashville and town are like polar opposites in this game for some weird reason. Smashville being the, like one of the smaller stages, and one of like the more suffocating stages, and Town being like the large stage, completely neutral dependent. Yeah, actually, now that you think about it, now that, knowing that you mentioned like you know it's suffocating, maybe that's what Ketchup wants. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't want Vladin to set up his sword play. Ooh, almost hit them. <laughs> I feel like even if he got hit by that, he would have died. No, actually, he could have air dodged in upbeat. That would have been enough. It, it it doesn't send you like like that clown cart when it explodes. It sends you up in a way. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. But he was like at 90 like, the He was only at like on 60, it. like oh. 67, something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And like even even if he was at 90, he'd survive it. <laughs> like the, it has a bit of knockback, but not that much. Oh, okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. Right now, kind of playing neutral, waiting. Just like, you know, oh, that was a good dash attack. Mm -hmm. Trying to catch him jumping airing. Good, good dash attack, but it's a bad dash attack because <laughs> he just falls out of it sometimes. Yeah. Oh, and man. Now catch up setting up his ledge trap with the clown with uh, Mecha the Mecha Koopa. There we go. So yeah, we call it clown card. My bad. <laughs> right now oh no, he recovered low. too low. Oh, no. He probably. Man, he keeps it killing himself. Catch up not gonna. Oh man, caught him on the. Found him below the ledge. And no tech gonna die. And right now, even game. <laughs> up airs. Right now, more juggles with Bowser Jr. Mm hmm. Waiting him out, getting him Ooh. with a nair into a fair. That was a good catch on him trying to hit him with the clown cart. Ooh, that was also a good air dodge into the reversal too. Ooh, I like that. Trying to uh, Z drop it, so uh, to catch the neutral get up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just trying to cover as many options as possible because that's what you that's what you kind of have to do as Bowser Jr. Ooh, that, that's what I've noticed a lot. That, that fair is really good at mixing up your block because that has a landing hitbox. From yeah, what I've seen. Yeah, it does have a landing hitbox. So actually, never mind. That 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 would actually be really really good for him to throw out preemptively because even if. Uh, if Aladdin were to run in and try to punish him, he could like land with a hitbox and Aladdin would just run into it. Yeah. Like, if it hits, if you don't jump into it, he can just, he could either decide to not land and make it completely safe, or he could land with it and have the hitbox. Yeah. And like, once he, if he gets a landing hitbox, he has more follow ups off of it. Wait, really? Yeah. Like, like they're small follow ups, but like, it's like a good amount of percent, you know? Yeah. At least it's something. Yeah. Right now, Vladin going back trying to edge guard him, but really can't find a way to like you know consistently get that edge guard because Ooh. Ketchup is mixing up his recovery a lot. Yeah, he's but mixing it up really, really well too. But he's still losing out on these trades. Yeah. Oh, the went for the spin out. That was really scary. Nearly dying for it. He's not 130. Air dodge. Air dodge. Yeah, he had to block that. If he didn't, he probably would have died. Oh, he pro he would have definitely died. <laughs> the knockback is phenomenal. Getting him with. The, uh, the clown cart, right. throwing it up, catching it. No, this explode. No, he's gonna die. Oh no, it fell back on stage. <laughs> and Valadin taking it 3 0 over Ketchup. Right. You want a beer? <laughs> yeah. All right, Nito want a beer. Nito want, want a beer. He's gonna be playing semis a little tipsy. Just uh, don't mind him. Dude, who gets drunk off one beer? Lightweights. You save money. <laughs> you save money. <laughs> that is true. All right.